Hello my fellow gamers, Some Puggy Gaming, and welcome back to FIFA 15 for my third league game against Augsburg. And this one is an extremely important game for us because the previous two games, if you haven't seen the previous two, um, ended in draws. And the second one, even though there was a slightly better performance, I still couldn't get the winner. And I just hope this one will be a hell of a lot better. Though annoyingly, in terms of the squad, Musa, who was an absolute brand new signing for the team and I was banking on him to make some really good plays in the last game, got injured just before half time so I'm now playing Nyang on the left. So I'm not sure exactly how that's going to pan out but the squad itself is still in near enough fit condition, maybe about 95% but it's going to be an intriguing game nonetheless. Hello and welcome to the German Bundesliga. Today it's FC Augsburg against Borussia Dortmund. So without further ado, we're off to Augsburg. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there everybody, it's another challenge for these two teams and a challenge for us in the commentary box as always. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan oh, Smith. Oh look at that, me. it's the same the box standard default stadium like I was playing when I was playing FIFA 14. Dortmund wanting a win because in their last game they dropped points by only drawing at home the match against Freiburg. Yeah, the 1-1 draw, there was uh, plenty of room for improvement but the manager's been talking up their team and I think they'll win here. Yeah, I'm just hoping I can actually win because the line up for the home side. it's three draws from three games, that won't be good. And once again, commentators aren't mentioning about anything about the team. So much for, for sophistication with this new setup. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. Borussia Dortmund under the microscope now. Well, this team hasn't shown us their capabilities in the first couple of games, the first two draws. We would expect them to be champions at the end of the season, and I'm betting on a better display out here today. I'm certainly going to have to make a better display of this because, yeah, really going to have to put my ideas up for this. Dietmar Schlernleber. <laughs> Referee's blown the whistle and uh, the game has started. It's so cool if I am I'm actually able to get the win. Marco Royce. So, does, we do seem to be playing a lot better today. Marcus Fulner. Well, that's a real tussle for the ball there. Niang. Clava. And that little oh, deflection. Oh, throw in. Thank you very much. Over the touchline. Marco Royce. Please don't let him get injured either. I've already got one player back, but I'm not Please getting check. until at least the next game. Can't really remember who it was. Lost his marker cleverly. He's going to cross it. And uh, the danger. Okay, now. Coached with well by the defender. Goal news involving Leverkusen. It's a goal for Bayer Leverkusen. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, oh, Alan. Oh, come on. Kane. Come on, Nang, run, you bloody idiot. Attacking well here. Wants to get at him and he's got past it. Hummels. Marco Royce. Niang. Yeah, I am playing a lot better in this game today. So. Subotic. Just well, I try and keep this form up, but it is Augsburg, a team expected to finish near the bottom, so hmm, I don't know. Oh, 
down. And now it's out in top. Here's out in top. Looking good, Here's this move. Freaking more Lost warrior. his man. And it's a headed effort at goal. The goal stands. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players oh can't believe God, it, and neither can the crowd. It's the right decision. Such a relief, that. What did you make of it, Alan? Well, I thought he was onside, you know, but uh, he's gone through oh, and tucked it away. that Looking was at the replay, yes, he tight. Had gone a bit early. I think that's a saving grace for me, this game. It really is a saving grace. The goalkeeper. It's his ball. Look at that for tenacity. Oh, oh for get away with fuck's it. sake, you fucking moron! That's another player injured. Niang. Got the tackle in. Marcus Foylner. Jan Moravec. And the defender has dispossessed it. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Here's a chance to attack. And it will go into the middle now. Not a bad cross, but it's the defender's ball. Goal news from Leverkusen. It's a goal for Hertha. 21 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks, Alan. He's shouting from the uh, sidelines to try and get the referee to let the injured player back on. He looks OK now, which is great. Yeah, I think he does. He doesn't seem to be in after effects, and he'll be a big boost for them now. I really didn't want to have to take him off then. Mate. Will go out of play. You can see it clearly has done. Oh, good for him. He's coming back and that looks a lot more encouraging now. Yeah, and his teammates will be relieved because there was under a bit of pressure there. They'll be pleased to have the full complement again. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Bayer. And then he goes with the tackle. Well, it is his third competitive game in charge of this club. They drew the second one, and there were some good signs, Alan, weren't there? I think there were. I mean, he, he's inching his way slowly towards changing things at this club, so uh, each passing match, oh, he, he's no, trying to do that. Oh, no, Dolby Hummel's being jumped in my house in there. Schmelzer. Now, a throw in. Schmelzer towards Albamayan. Yeah, that kind of didn't work. Goal news now keep from getting the crosses Raymond. in. I'm sure, sure I'm going to get something. It's been scored by Adam Zalai. A wonderful overhead kick that sent the ball flying into the roof of the net. 29 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. Bayer. Marcus Foylner. That's a real tussle for the ball. Out in top. Fantastic save. Given. It's amazing they were able to actually get into my freaking penalty area, yet I can't do the same on the other right side of the pitch. And he takes the shot. Oh, right. Another corner. corner. It. It's a corner coming up yet again. Yeah, part of me's thinking I might not lost the whole season if he continues to play like this. And then it's just a case of either start a new game or continue on. Still in play here. Try to turn around so we can get to. Oh, never mind, never mind, no. It was a good Bullets. idea to try and use the width on the pitch, but it's gone out for a throw. Jan Moravec. Yeah, two failed tackles Alexander after another. Esvine. I 
Jimmy Clay is right there. Yeah, get the ball and then nothing happened. Hello, hello, well, go, this go, go. It's got a bit of menace to it. Goal kick here. Oh, King Hell, you. Altberg's next game, Alan. What do you make of it? Yeah, they're playing Eintracht Frankfurt in the next match in the Bundesliga. And I do see them as second favourites in this one. Come on, take the goal kick whenever you're ready. Alexander Esvine. Has it been a penalty involving the Beltins Arena? Alan McAnally. It's a penalty. And here's the shot. And he's made it with his no! Well, that's a goal Bollocks. for the new man. And he's taken it very well. No, I'd be delighted to get off the mark so early on in the season here. And uh, that'll give him a lot of confidence going forward. Nicely taken goal for Augsburg. Uh, the keeper's pulled off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of his defenders. I'm saying nothing. I am saying well, absolutely nothing about that. Son of a bitch, seriously. Defensively, the team is just dire, or should I say, I'm in dire. First goal of the game, it's 1-0. I thought it would be like a slight increase in terms of the difference between 14 and 15. It's like huge in terms of the defending. And that was Alan McAnally, who loves uh, watching Bayern Munich, club he used to play for, of course. And he's happy that they've scored. And we're happy to just reiterate the news of that goal. They've converted from the penalty spot to make it 1-0. Yeah, Nyang isn't the quick player I really thought he was. Marcel Schmelzer looking for Royce. He got there just in time. In the end, a fantastic clearance. Well, it is a scoreline that reflects accurately what we've seen so far. Borussia Dortmund not at their best, not by any means. <laughs> that's, that's... I'm saying nothing. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Well, there's still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. He was confident going into this game, really was confident. Bayer. Oh, and I have to run into the yeah. freaking player as well. Marco Royce. Come on, where's the, where is everyone? Sebastian Kane. Marcel Schmelzer. Niang. Oh, in goes the cross. Well, the danger was considered. That's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the mm. half time score. Well, half time and the scoreline. Love FIFA, but I just. This team has been it's defending. the point where I'm hating FIFA right, right now. Yeah, yeah he's coming off now. Strangers out there as if they've only just met. And, uh, well, you really did expect better than that. I don't know how the hell I'm going to pull this back now. I should be winning, though it is going to be a long season, That's, I don't know. Yes, yeah, stop doing. Freaking idiots, buddy injuring my player, so that's the third player that's been injured in the space of... Um, how many bloody games? Kick off here I'm in the space of about four weeks, half. so I dread to think what it's going to be like for the remainder of the season. Seriously? Goal news from Bremen. It's a second goal for Werder Bremen. It's been scored by Franco De Santo. A great bit of close control to take the pass on the edge of the area, beat the covering defender, and slot the ball home. 40. And here's the shot. Oh, son of a bitch. From the Bundesliga, coming soon, the Bundesliga fixture, Borussia Dortmund, and they'll be facing Mainz away from home. Oh, that's going to yeah, be an interesting game. It, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Werder Bremen, I want to remind you, scored in that game. Watched by Alan McAnally. He was trying to give us a lengthy description of it when we had to cut across him, unfortunately. I'm sure Alan will be back later. The score's 2-1. Should 
Should have turned on him, swung it in. And try it next time, and I can get in the wing, I hope. Oh. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Penalty I'm just going to if that's a waste one of it's my substitutions on Leverkusen. an injured player. Up to take it, Stefan Kiesling. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes. Oh, he's blasted it miles over. What a poor penalty. 53 minutes played. It remains 2-1. Cheers, Alan. And the manager's decided for a change of personnel. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Marco Royce. It's looking good, this move. There we go. Nice ball. Oh, Out too freaking throw. long. And uh, over the touchline. Well, you have to say good anticipation there to read the direction of the throw-in. Moravec Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and Here's some support down the middle for him looking for Royce no, the... Good cover. Oh, yeah pass it straight oh, to the keepers. Athleticism there to make that save Okay, never mind Niang. Niang. Throw in here. And there's the throw in. They wasted no time at all. Good control here. Quite congested no, midfield. Good, up, good not passing from this team. team. News of a goal from Stuttgart. It's a second goal for Cologne. 63 minutes played, 3-2. Thank you very much, Alan. Amazing, all these other teams can score, but yet I can Sebastian can't. Kane. And the defender has dispossessed him. <sighs> Clava. Tremendous understanding from these players. This will be a decision for the match official. Come on, today. that's a Dean yellow Martin. card. Schoenleber. Look him. Set Thank you. The referee. Free kick. Yellow card. Yeah, everybody moves up. That's definitely yellow. Rash, Alan, reckless. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just as fraction off. Okay. Marcel Schmelzer, the chance for the wide man to make some progress here. It's going to be a, a throw here. And very confident to get the game moving again. Oh, for Christ's sake, in the wrong place. Seriously, Russia. Well, that'll be a throw. Oh, yeah, the long ball is just... Well, that's a real tussle for the ball there. Oh, I need two extra Old players Bobadilla. on now. Substitute is ready, I think, to come on for Dortmund. Oh, that's yes. Pa his throw here. Freaking pass it to the freaking Substitute earth. coming on. It's a tactical change. Mm. I don't know what's up with me. I should be freaking strolling this, but I'm not. Well, Baba dear. Baba. Well, the winger tried to do something a bit too clever, I think, and the interception was made. Shinji Kagawa. It's 
Sebastian Kehl. Good movement to get to it. I mean, then didn't work that. Really now didn't work. Throw. Yeah, I think they're stuck tactics now. It's case I've just kicked the ball upfield. Shinji Kagawa. Sven Bender. Marcus Fulner. And there he you goes go. for the tackle. Oh, for Christ's sake. I do a sliding tackle, win the ball, and then he does a sliding tackle, and then I, I lose the ball. Here's Altin top. Now he can cross it. Bayer. Yeah, I've been one of those sacks. With that quarter Very season gone or something. Especially if I don't win with the foot. Free kick. Ah. <sighs> Ten minutes to go, well, still one nil down. Off because after that yellow card, he just didn't learn. Schalke scored the goal in front of Alan McAnally. It was a brief report from him, but I think he got his point across. We just re-emphasised the fact that it was a Schalke goal. The score's 2-1. Time is ticking away, and it still could go either way this uh, game, and that's been the way right from the start. Well, that's almost a click of the switch from the manager to say, right, we're going into our defensive game now. Well, it's not just two banks of four now, it's uh, one bank of six and four. They've got everybody behind now, and it's really hard for the opposition to find any space out there. Yeah, you have no idea how hard I'm finding this. Sebastian Kehl. There's the ball in. That's a free kick awarded here. What? Who to? Is it me? Only crab I've actually got a free kick. Let's try not to fuck this up. What is Rose's stats? This is probably about... Yeah, this is my source of range, so... We'll see. Can I score? I seriously doubt it at the moment. Yeah, OK, I'm good. Oh, bloody hell, that could have gone in if I had a little bit more to the left. It would have been so decisive that, no doubt about it. Well, that free kick whistled away close to the goal. I reckon he thought he'd scored there because it was extremely close. <sighs> Behind at half-time, still trailing now. Borussia Dortmund looking down the barrel of defeat. Just missed time the pass, it seems, because the flag has gone. Come on, get a move on up. already. Yeah, and they know how important that was because it was a would have been a great scoring opportunity for them. The lead is still intact, but only just the fans a mixture of nervousness and support. I can see the fans like this. I wouldn't like to call which way it's going to go. Green. We're down now to the final two minutes of the 90. It's gone out to the wingman, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Oh, you son of a bitch, why didn't I control it? Alil out in top. Oh. Why can't he just bounce forward? That's be a oh, kick piss off, ref, referee. seriously. He's had a good game. Yet yeah, now the time wasting. Moulders. One last attack. Good luck. Time 
ticking on. And the attack not really ticking. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck. Mulders. <sighs> Waste of freaking time, that. And the referee blows the whistle for the last time. Bloody joke. Absolutely. Games and Bloody them. joke. They played well today, and, but their scoreline is a disappointing one. Yeah, there's an argument for that, and that's football, isn't it? And sometimes you just have to forget about it and accept the defeat and move on. That's set the defeat. It's going to be hard to accept that defeat against a team who's expected to be the lower mid table. Oh my god. Let's just hope I can play well in the next one against Mainz. And. I really don't know at the moment. I'm going to have to take some time out and just freaking practice or something. That's all I can think of. So, if you have enjoyed that game, despite the fact. I have lost and it was a freaking bad loss at that but you want to see the next one against mains make sure to like comment and most importantly please subscribe because every single like comment and subscription helps my channel so so much and I'll see you next time